everybody. Time for the fun to begin. Okay, so I have seen others that have done results with these two laundry detergents. Tonight I'm using um, Arm & Hammer Power Packs. Um, my own homemade laundry detergent that I've been using for quite a few years. And I am comparing those results to the Norwex laundry detergent. Okay, so what we're hoping happens is what you want to see happen in your laundry detergent is you want to see everything dissolve. Because if everything's not dissolving, then it's getting stuck in the fabric in your clothing and in your washing machine and gunking up your, wash, gunking up your washing machine. So you don't want that to happen. So you want to see whatever uh, detergent you are using, you want to see it completely dissolve, obviously. Um, so let's see what happens. So here is, open the jars. Here is our Arm & Hammer Power Pack. for our homemade detergent and in each of these jars I have um, the amounts recommended for a typical load of laundry um, obviously the power pack is um, self-contained and sealed this is my homemade laundry detergent it is made up of Castile soap uh, borax super washing soda and baking soda I use both, yes. Um, and you can see there's already a little bit of a difference. Um, this is mine, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, this one is mine and the grains are thicker. Um, the powder for the Norwex seems a little bit um, finer grained. So I don't know if that will have an effect on how well it dissolves. So in goes my Homemade laundry detergent, um, and it's about two tablespoons. I don't measure exactly, um, but I use an actual like tablespoon that you find in your kitchen drawer, not a measuring spoon, and I scoop in um, two of those. And here is the Norwex laundry detergent. Um, this water um, is room temperature water. So let's see what happens. We'll pour that in. And seal it up. And we'll fill the jar with my homemade detergent. And close that up. And fill up the Norwex jar. Oh good, I was hoping I would have enough water for all of them. I don't have enough to fill it up. And it looks like I did. Alright, so there's that. We don't need these anymore. Those are just to hold the soaps. Alright, so. Here is our, the Arm & Hammer Power Pack. Now, the problem I'm already seeing is... <laughs> this little plastic. Oh! There we go. We're starting to get something. So, I'm agitating it, just like the washing machine would, actually probably better than the washing machine would, a little wet. This is my homemade detergent. I think I might have filled the jar a bit much. And this is the Norwex detergent. So, we'll let those sit for just a minute. Get those nice and close. Ooh, having trouble with the... Shake it up some more. Shake it up some more. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And we will let those sit. Um, now, I read the back of the Arm & Hammer. Um, it doesn't say exactly what the surfactants in the um, detergent are. And it doesn't say, I know, it's obviously some type of plastic that is um, encasing this. 
um, ingredients, surfactants, anionic and non-ionic, sodium carbonate, Arm & Hammer baking soda, enzyme blend, sodium percarbonate, brightening agent, and fragrance. Um, I'm a little nervous about the brightening agent and fragrance. I don't know what it is. Um, I've told you already in my, is this my homemade? In my homemade detergent, um, I have baking soda, super washing soda, um, Castile soap. Um, in this batch, I think I had Kirk's Castile soap. Um, sometimes I also use Dr. Bronner's and, um, and Borax. Um, and in the Norwex, Contains sodium silicate, sodium percarbonate, and biodegradable surfactants. Um, and there's actually more information on the website. Um, it's non-toxic. Um, all the ingredients are biodegradable, environmentally friendly. Um, it's phosphate, sulfate, chlorine dye, fragrance, and filler free. Um, the water softeners in here are environmentally friendly. Um, and it says it dissolves quickly which it looks like it does, but we'll check that in a little bit. Um, this can be used with conventional and high efficiency washing machines. The amount of detergent you use um, for a high efficiency versus a conventional machine differs. Um, but I mean, still, it says to use one third of a scoop to a full scoop. So in a high efficiency, you would use a third of a scoop. This is literally the size of the scoop. It's so tiny. Um, and in a conventional wash machine, you would use one scoop. Yeah, I will definitely post um, a final photo of all of the jars in the end. Um, there's still quite a bit in my homemade floating around in there. Oh, wrong way. Um, there's quite a bit. <laughs> Look at all that stuff in the bottom. Look at all that. That is all. That's honestly my homemade stuff. There's a little bit down there. It's also white. Um, and the Norwex, there's like nothing down there. Um, but we'll see what happens in a few more minutes. Um, and you really do use such a tiny amount. This is not when you purchase the laundry detergent. This is not what you're going to get. Um, this is just like a sample pack. Um, the full size bag is four times the size. It's just over two pounds. This is just over half a pound. Um, just so you know, this, this is not the full size bag. Um, so yeah, I know this definitely also clearly has dyes in it, um, or something cause it's blue. Um, and it also has, um, Oh, what was it? Oh, brightening agents in it. Um, this doesn't, it's fairly all natural. Um, and it seems to be dissolving at least better than this. Um, and the Norwex is really, I mean, there's nothing down there. I'm actually quite amazed. Um, the jar I saw, um, had been, had been done a while ago. And I was like, oh, well I had time to, I mean, it was done at the same time as this one, but Look at all that. Look at all that stuff. And I used to use Arm & Hammer before I started making my own. Um, and look at all that gunk sitting at the bottom of the jar, just waiting to not get rinsed out of your clothes. And the gunk that does get rinsed out of your clothes gunks up your washing machine. I should have taken the stickers off the bottom of the jars. My homemade stuff, hmm. Yeah, there actually is quite a bit of gunk down there. It's white, you really can't see it, but there actually is, um, oh yeah, check that out. Did you see that fall off? I don't know if you saw that. We'll do that again. All right, so I'm gonna tip the jar. There's really not a heck of a lot down there. Um, in this one, look at all that gunk. And I'll show you in mine again. I don't know if you saw that. There is actually quite a bit of gunk stuck in the bottom of that jar. So yeah, um, 
I'm personally quite impressed by the Norwex, actually. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. So my homemade detergent, not too, too bad, but I can do better. So I hope that helped.